This is the civil war within the civil war. Jihadi fighters push through Yarmouk in Damascus. The so-called Islamic State says this video shows their victory over other rebel groups there is complete. They've certainly never been closer to the heart of the Syrian capital. So while this battle takes place, the regime continues its siege of Yarmouk. Today, we ran out of food, and now it's the fifth day without water. No aid at all is getting into the camp. We have been under siege here for 750 days. The regime keeps hitting Yarmouk with airstrikes and barrel bombs. There are hundreds of wounded. Bodies are lying in the streets. We can't get to some of them because of IS snipers. Government rockets arc over Damascus to Yarmouk. IS is now just a couple of miles from the presidential palace. Opposition activists accuse the regime of letting IS get this far, using it to destroy other rebel groups. Whatever the cause, the suffering is undeniable. Regime, rebels, jihadis, the UN is begging all three sides to stop the fighting. The people in Yarmouk are Palestinian refugees. Many have fled once more to Lebanon refugees twice over. When refugees first started coming here to Lebanon, the Free Syrian Army was fighting the regime. The FSA has been almost completely marginalised. The conflict is increasingly one of jihadis against the regime. To some, it seems as if President Assad now has the enemy he wants. Western governments have spent four years calling for his overthrow now they may have to do business with him. Paul Wood, BBC News, Beirut, 